Alright, welcome back to the deciding map between Mew and Diesel. Mew winning map number one, Turtle Rock. Diesel winning map number two, Echo Isles. And let's see if this time we're gonna go into a somewhat more uh, usual solid human versus Night Elf game. Or if we're gonna see some craziness ensue again. Um, yeah, on map number one, Diesel after a terrible early game going for the huge... Uh, huge all-in against Mew's expansion on map number two. Mew, after a solid early game actually, uh, over committing quite a bit against uh, Diesel's expansion. And now we're gonna see the deciding match on Tarina's stand. Mew is the one on uh, the bottom spawn position here. Altafer's barracks, farm, everything as expected. And Diesel, this time with a... Um, Standard Night Love Hero again, no Tavern Hero this time, Ancient of War in front of the Goblin Laboratory. Everything is um, as we should expect it. Warden first for Diesel. Wisp is heading over here. Is he gonna go eventually for a second Ancient of War here or for a queue of life here even? We'll find out about it. Warden of course is uh, in need of some good creeping early on. Mew again with his base being open here. Giving him some space to retreat into the bag, while at the same time, of course, offering some uh, potential entrance to, um, you know, the opponent's units. So, AM, halfway out, second Moonwell, bunch of more Wisps. Archer is already out, he's not bringing a Wisp here, he's not going to use the Lightning Shield to creep. As that wasn't really a, you know, known uh, or standard uh, means of... Uh, creeping at that time some people um, some people did it like sometimes but it was not at all standard or anywhere near the standard me with scout sees the warden and is paying for that information immediately but no XP for the warden here engine of war needs to make sure not to uh, last hit the renegade wizard here does so successfully archer wanted to creep here but uh, as the choice from the goblin merchant wow I think no he didn't last hit this one with the uh, lightning shield I think it was the archer's arrow that actually did the last hit so that seemed quite lucky for uh, diesel quite a close call and in the meantime Mio has finished his lab as well uh, ring of protection for the AM and Ring of Protection for the Warden. So neither of the players getting insanely lucky with their item drops here. Hunter's Hall by Diesel and a second uh, Ancient of War finishing very quickly here again. So we're probably going to see a lot of tier 1 stuff by him like we've seen on Turtle Rock. But compared to Turtle Rock, I mean his early game here hasn't been devastatingly horrible. And Mew pulling the Militia. It looks like he's gonna go for the expansion right now. Diesel going for the same creep camp here. Two wisps are around to repair. Uh, another arch is even built. He's not waiting to get uh, full hunter's production as soon as the hunter's hall finishes here. Gonna get up to three archers and then start hunter's production probably. Another wisp is coming me with the flute of accuracy. Gonna keep an eye on the rogues here, uh, on the enforcers here to see whether any of the players gets an XP tome. The uh, warden didn't, the AM didn't as well. Again, Flute of Accuracy for Mew and a very quick expansion for Diesel again. So, um, yeah, not gonna see a total all in here. Probably Boots of Kethalas. Alright item for the Warden, I mean she's not the really uh, heaviest hitter, not really willing to, uh, you know, trade blows straight up with a lot of human units. Demon Hunter would have loved that item a lot more, Warden is now coming in, level 3 on her, still, okay, now he decided to skill, let's see, is it, it's level 2 Fan of Knives, he's just going for the kills on the peasants. One of them is falling. This one's gonna fall as well. And he does have mana for one more fan of knives. So it's I guess two more peasants are gonna fall. This one's probably gonna survive. He does have the staff, but it's on cooldown. And he could actually hide here. Mew doesn't have dust. He does have a scout farm at the lab though. But at least that would cost him another 50 gold. 
but it looks like that's not a risk that uh, Diesel wants to take here, given that he doesn't have Blink, and he would have probably been forced to Town Portal if he had Shadow melted here and uh, waited for Mew to use the laboratory down here. So first Hunt is coming in, some more harassment is going to ensue Mew. Yeah, that's not the early game he was hoping for. Losing so many um, so many peasants here early on. The archers just sitting in front of the Tree of Life, uh, defending against potential harassment. But Mew is quite busy at his own expansion, fending off the harass. Uh, the footman is probably going to fall. Uh, one more hit, I think. Yeah, Footman is falling here. The hunt in return has taken a ton of damage though and he's gonna have to fall back. No tier 2 tech yet, so it looks like it's gonna be just mass backed up by an expansion here by Diesel. And Mew now reveals, confirms the expansion. Diesel on the other hand, right in front of the human expansion again and he's forcing or he's getting the arcane tower to shoot at the archers first. Dodging a couple of hits of the Arcane Tower and he's gonna have another fan of knives available in just a second. Mew trying to split a little bit here. Now Reveal is coming in but a little bit too late. The Warden still had time to cast the fan of knives and therefore another bunch of peasants is falling. The Warden is pulling back here. This time Staff of Teleportation can be used defensively. Another Hunt is spawning here. Expansion. Ah, not yet saturated. He's not building Wisps yet. 34 supply for Diesel, 30 for Mew, who has lost a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, plus another 4 previously, I think 8 peasants so far, to uh, the Warden's harassment, so Diesel doing a decent job so far. Like a more moon-like approach would have probably been to creep this with uh, the one Ancient of War and a bunch of archers in the meantime and have the Warden already be at like level 4.5 right now. But a decent job, as I said. Mew getting another camp taken down here as well. He doesn't seem like he's f he's feeling like he needs to apply too much pressure against the expansion of his opponent already. Another fan of knives is coming in. Warden is again out of mana, but with the hunts, there is some follow-up damage here to uh, finish off the low HP peasants. Another two are falling. Level four for the warden. Am uh, almost there. Shredder bot. By Mio already, which is going to be a huge help for him since, you know, rebuilding peasants is one of Mew's main, uh, one of Mew's, um, main, uh, focuses so far since he's lost so many. And it looks like Diesel is willing to, uh, use his town portal here eventually. I don't think he's gonna get out of this one with, uh, his army anymore. But uh, he's done uh, actually no damage here so far. Mew hasn't lost a single peasant inside of his main. Now the first one is falling. The rest of them has been microed out properly, but he really needs to keep those out of his base. Um, TP is being used and a hunt is falling on the way. So that was nicely defended by Mew. And um, well, he's going to have to heal those guys up with the scroll of regeneration soon. The archers in here have gone for another poke. Not sure if another... Uh, Peasant has died here. In the meantime, tier 2 tech has been built or has been started, almost finished already by Diesel. A bunch of glaives are coming. So, glaives again. So, it looks like he's still going to go for a big push. He's getting the first attack upgrade for the hunts and the uh, glaive throws already. He can get the uh, Vorpal Blades upgrade on tier 2. He can also add, which, you know, is a has been a strategy forever basically and it's still a strategy sometimes these days he can add like one agent of lore for uh, some dried some slow some dispel here to go along with this uh, huge aggression that is going to come towards Mew's expansion second arcane tower by the way has finished in the meantime so Mew really doesn't want to have to deal with too much of this pesky uh, fan of knives harassment by his opponent so let's see what the approach of these lists. He's sitting at 48 supply already. Staff of Preservation bought on the Naga. The um, Warden with a heal potion. Mew in the meantime at 41 supply. Another bunch of Ivory Towers and he's going up towards the top here with more militia and he's gonna creep a second expansion which is... Wow! 
it is a huge investment here by Miu to go for another bunch of towers and another expansion here. If it goes unscouted for a long time, it can definitely pay off. But given that he's gonna face a huge push against his expansion here, maybe he'd rather wanted to have uh, more resources for defensive purposes. Tier 3 also immediately by Miu. So he's going for completely strategic madness here. Mountain King is out. AM has reached level 4 now, finally, close of attack found at the top, and he's going for a huge load of towers here at first, and yeah, is Diesel gonna scout that ever? That is the question here. Well, at first, I guess not, because his focus is down here at the bottom of the map at his own push against Mew's expansion, Mountain King, Footman, AM, and a Water Metal are coming in right now. In the meantime, economy-wise, macro-wise, yeah, one Ancient of Lore is being added here by Diesel, who is staying tier 2, so he's gonna add a few Dryads, which are gonna make things... What? Okay. Which are gonna make things, uh... a lot easier for him, micro-wise. Double Shredder for Mew. So he still has some resources to spend on... Uh, Defending here, but comparing the supply, it's 58 against 43. Diesley, yeah, with the first stride coming, with the uh, abolish magic coming afterwards. Sentry ward placed here by Miu, so he's always gonna see what's uh, happening in this area. The zapper, I'm not really sure why he bought the zapper. Get into the glaive throws. Maybe he anticipated a second expansion on the left hand side or even ancient protectors now the zapper did go in against the hunts did a bit of damage the first of the uh, shredders has been taken down but a bunch of archers have fallen already as well both of the remaining hunts are super low as well the uh, level 2 water mantles are having a field day against those but there's not really a lot of tanking units remaining for me especially as this mountain king is running lower and lower on hp right now as well the shop is at Mew's main so this mountain king is probably going to fall not even trying to Micro it away anymore, just getting the most damage output out of that one as long as it's still alive. The front Arcane Tower is also fallen for me already. The, the Warden is out of mana, so this Arcane Tower isn't really doing anything anymore to her as well. And Mew is giving up the expansion. He's stopping mining with the peasants so he can evacuate them as well with the town pod. So this one is gone. And these resources, they were missing at the expansion down here. And therefore, this one was a pretty clear, pretty successful push by Diesel. The question is, how is he gonna follow it up? He's... Uh, let me just confirm that. You know, he still hasn't scouted the expansion in the top right corner. Naga level 4.6, uh, Naga level 2.6, uh, Warden level 4.6, AM level 4, MK... Uh, not too much XP here. And he's getting double Griffin Aviary. So, uh... Yeah, against Glaive Throwers, Griffins are insanely good, even Dragonhawks seem like a good choice in this particular case. We'll see what Mew is gonna decide to go for. I mean, he's got the tier 3 already, so he can go for Griffins if he wants to. Griffins superior damage output against uh, Glaive Throwers, then again, not too useful against Dryads. Zapper, this time by Diesel, so both of them really enjoying their separates apparently is he gonna get the bolt on this one yes he is separate does not do any damage going down level two for the mountain king on top of that but Mew has nothing to defend here could the end yeah he's going for the griffins he just wants to get rid of these uh, glaive throws because they are quite the menace here five of them doing so much damage against the buildings barracks has fallen both farms here have fallen and the shop is next and there's nothing Mew can do to save that one. Heal Potion had been bought on the AM previously. He's even using the Town Portal here. Holy Light used by the Paladin onto the Mountain King and he's Town Portaling to the top here with a few peasants. First Griffin is out. The MK is once again the target of uh, the Night Elf army. The Militia charging forward against both of the Night Elf heroes right now. Bold against the Warden healing on the Mountain King used once again another uh, water metal spawned, the dryads quickly getting rid of it, at least almost, water metal is still alive, level up, saves the naga for just a second, but bold kind of, uh, yeah, makes that level up irrelevant or even bad for the knight, if he's gonna have to invest more gold right now and wait longer for the naga to come back, and in the meantime, all but one glaive throws have been taken down by the shredder and one of the griffin riders, 
just the two of them. Such a big deal, I missed it unfortunately, but there was a bunch of stuff happening at the same time. We do see one, two, three, four, five, if I'm counting correctly, um, destroyed glaive throws. And all of a sudden, Mew is the one with the expansion. Mew is the one on tier three with triple hero. I mean, his barracks is gone, but other than that, he's got Gryphon Tech ready. And he can add workshop, um, another barracks. And all of a sudden, he seems to be the one in the driving seat here. Tree of Eternity is being built just now. A second lore has been added in the meantime. Ancient of Wind is being added as well. New using some uh, reveal. And Diesel still hasn't scouted this expansion. This is really, if Mew wins this, then it's all thanks to this expansion. Then again, if he hadn't built it in the first place, then maybe he wouldn't have lost this other expansion. So uh, yeah, who knows. And now he's adding Dragon Hog Riders as well to deal with these ladies. Second and third hero, not particularly great uh, in terms of XP. That's one of the downsides of TS. Yes, these two camps are the only two really big ones left, except for this one, but I don't think that Mew is going to be able to creep it. So usually on a bigger map like Twisted Meadows, he'd want to creep uh, Paladin and MK to level 3 right now, but that's not going to be so easy on Tarina stand. Warden level 5, by the way, in the meantime, is probably going to have skilled um, level 3 fan of knives. Or blink, we'll find out. And did he confirm this expansion by now by passing by here? Yes, Diesel finally knows about uh, what's happening here in the top right corner. And he's not going to be happy with that finding. Tier 3 is soon to finish. First Hippogriff is coming. Uh, bears are not really going to be the greatest help against a large number of griffins by Mew. I guess he maybe should even add a second um, Ancient of Wind because with one Ancient of Wind the Dragonhawk Riders are always going to be able to just check out everything. By the way, 70 supply for Diesel already, 60 for Mew. Level 2 on the Paladin, almost 3 on the Mountain King, greater heal potion for him. Almost level 5 on the AM, so there are two very important level ups about to happen. What's he adding here? Mortar teams. Kind of difficult to keep alive against a high level warden. But yeah, with Staff of Preservation, with Holy Light, also um, some means of keeping them alive and against the Dryads. That damage output is kind of good. And in defending the expansion, he can, you know, put them behind towers. It's not as easy to kill. Job done. So yeah, Mew with the 1-0 Dragonhog Riders and Griffins is uh, getting ready to defend the expansion here. The Glaive Throwers have to do a little bit of work. Only two towers remaining though. 2-0 attack upgrades on uh, them. Or well, two attack upgrades. They don't have defend uh, or armor upgrades, so to speak. And he's going for the AM here first, doing quite a bit of damage. Fan of Knives is coming in, Rejuvenation onto the Warden. There is no Dispel, of course, for Mew, yeah, which is also kind of a big factor in this one. The Naga is in trouble again, using a heal potion. The Mountain King is still around, though, with so much mana. The Griffins are taking down one Glaive Thrower after another. Holy Light actually goes on one of the air units instead of the AM here, and therefore he's forced to Town Portal uh, somewhere else. Around this expansion, is the MK in range here? Yes, he is, but a bunch of A units aren't. And let's see how much Mew is going to pay for that. It's one Dragonhawk Rider, one Griffin, a second Dragonhawk Rider, and the reinforcing Mortar team. Ah, no, this one actually survives, and he's even going to get the kill on this uh, Hippogriff. Dryad's getting a little bit overly excited, but all of the Glaive Throwers have fallen. A huge supply drop, I imagine, yeah, down to 50 one supply for diesel now produced eight more supply just uh, as i said it against the 61 of mew and the dragonhawk riders are just perfect against these dryads with like 100 hp remaining and the one uh, hippogriff that's currently in the air for diesel warden so close to level six 
But is she gonna get it? There's still an inward potion and a TP on her, so Diesel should definitely make sure to not lose that one. Mountain King still has 230 mana heal potion brought on the Warden. No mana on the bear for rejuvenation. He need 150 to change into um, Druid shape and cast rejuvenation. But this guy does have rejuvenation. Big, big deal. The Warden really needs to stay alive here and re needs to reach level 6 for um, Diesel to really gain a significant or at least a significant uh, backup here for his fights with the Avatar of Vengeance. Then again, Mew has almost only air units, so um, there's not going to, be, going to be too many corpses here for uh, the Avatar. Job done. New shop built here very quickly. You still at 66 supply, two zero upgrades in the meantime on the air units. Another bolt goes onto the warden. The griffins start focusing the first bear. Divine sheet has to be used by the paladin immediately. The first mortar team is in trouble. Is there a holy light for that one? I think it's on cooldown, so the staff has to be used. Mountain King has to be put back as well. But the warden is the target. She has the heal potion, but stun lasts too long. And the level 5.99 warden is going down. So is the Mountain King. But that's a trade Mew is going to be able to live with very, very well. Another bear is falling. This one, is there? No, there is no staff whatsoever on the Naga. The bear is still gonna survive though due to uh, regeneration, the damage output of the Dragonhawks against this bear. Very, very low. But with a bunch of bears and only the level 4 Naga, no Warden, how is uh, Diesel supposed to deal with this human army? The answer is by the Warden back at the tavern. 9 XP away from level 6. She went down very, very unfortunately for him. Fortunately for him, he still has the heal potion, so... Um, he can use that one still. He does have mana on the one bear for one rejuvenation if he wants to though. One of the griffins has to fall back here. Can he staff? No, he cannot. Griffin is falling in therefore level 6 on the one, but she's out of mana. She cannot do anything with the level 6 currently. And Mew is just charging forward with everything. Diesel doesn't really have anything remaining. Two low HP bears and two low HP heroes. One of the mortar teams is falling, the other one even survives. And the Tau Paul has to be used by the Warden, but not before the Naga is falling. There's nothing remaining for Diesel. There's no way in hell this expansion is going to stay alive. And the uh, AM has reached level 6 as well. And he, of course, still has plenty of mana, thanks to Brilliance Aura. Now the Avatar of Vengeance has been used, but yeah, there's one, two, three corpses on the ground. Mew still uses the Town Portal as he's killed the expansion. There's nothing he needs to fight for here against uh, the Warden's ultimate. The main gold mines are also empty. Nature's Blessing is being researched right now. But during all this time, Mew still has a lot of gold income. Mew still has the way superior army. I guess most armies are superior to one hero and one bear. And Diesel really is feeling the pain right now against the one. Even gets the kill on one mortar team. Staffing the bear as well, not losing anything here. Um, but not really achieving anything either. So the MK is back. Naga is being rebuilt as well as the Paladin. But so many units from you. And it looks like, again, like on Turtle Rock, he doesn't feel like finishing uh, the game too early on. Then again, this time, you know, he's waiting for his Paladin to come back. He's maybe, uh, yeah, seriously could get a scroll before, uh, before pushing. And there's no advantage at all for uh, Diesel to gain over time. As long as this Tree of Life, uh, Tree of Eternity, isn't rooted at an expansion again, there's nothing that Mew has to fear here by waiting with the push. Dryad is falling here. The Warden doesn't have Blink as far as I know, so she's probably gonna fall here to the next bolt. Warden is dead. Mew looking very comfortable here. GG by Diesel. In another game that has been very far from a standard solid human versus Night Elf, Mew with the uh, Fast expansion, Diesel with the fast expansion, Diesel with a big push against Mew's expansion with a strategy that's been seen, you know, over the years, a um, couple of times, and Mew with a very strange decision to go for the second expansion uh, before he really 
even had the means to defend his first one against such a push. But luckily for him, Diesel didn't scout it. Um, he got Mew got a couple of good fights where he was able to snipe the uh, or plenty of the uh, glaive throws. One in front of his expansion on the top, one previously on uh, his main base, and um, eventually with the large number of air units, he was able to overcome Diesel here to take the first best of three to take the second map in this best of three and therefore he is the first one to score and Diesel is the second Night Elf to lose in this group but uh, luckily for all of the Night Elves in the next best of three certainly one of them is going to win because that's going to be between Zeus and Paladin the last two players to enter the tournament before we're done with play day number one so I hope you're going to tune in for that I hope you enjoyed this one and um, you know I'll finish as always with um, leave a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe and I will see you for Zeus against Paladin. Bye!